Hi, I'm Jay Marr from Real Street Performance. Today we're going to look at the AEM 30-4900. It's AEM's newest offering to the aftermarket. It's a boost gauge up to 30 PSI. It's a wide band that will read AFR or Lambda. And it's also a failsafe that could save your engine. When you open up the box, you're going to find the following. The failsafe gauge, which can display boost or AFR, and black bezel, a silver bezel, your instruction manual, and various faceplates to display either AFR, boost, or lambda. It comes with a USB comms cable, a weld on O2 bung, some shielded butt connectors for the wiring installation, a T for a, applying a boost source, some vacuum line to get you to the boost source, the harness that's going to attach the wideband sensor to the main gauge, the wideband sensor itself, and a pre-made main harness that has the USB comms already incorporated in it. Whether you're in the market for a wideband gauge or looking to upgrade your current unit, there's a few things that make the 30-4900 a superior choice. The whole idea of having a wideband in your car is to gather data. The 30-4900 will get you better data. What it's going to do is offer you the ability to plot RPM, boost, and AFR on one graph. It logs for two and a half hours at 25 hertz, and it's loop logging, so it's always running over itself. There's no laptop needed in the car, and you don't have to start and stop the gauge. It's always logging when 12 volts is applied. It will display in different units, as we mentioned before. So if you're used to working in PSI or bar for your pressure, it will do that. If you're used to working in AFR or lambda, it'll do that. So you guys running E85, there's no reason to purchase an additional gauge. Get used to working in lambda. Whatever the Lambda display is, no matter the fuel, it's always going to be correct. The failsafe thing is the third thing that's really going to make this thing stand out. You can use it to trigger an output or a relay that can save your engine in the event that you have a lean out. So real quick look at the software, it's super simple. You've got air fuel ratio and PSI. It's configurable, again, whether or not you want to work in bar or Lambda, you just select it right there. I've got this set up to anything over 12.0 in boost. I'm concerned, I want it to stop doing whatever it's doing, so that's where I've got my cuts. I've also got it at 24 PSI, um, basically like a boost cut, if it ever goes over a target or has a wastegate line pop or something like that, it'll go ahead and shut it down. It's got a delay on the alarm, how long you want it to be over your set threshold before it will trigger, how long it will trigger, and whether or not it's going to trigger ground on or ground off. It's got a little thing over here that you can test the alarm to make sure your wiring's correct on your failsafe, downloading your log data, clearing your log. Uh, it's got an auto learn feature if you're not really familiar with how your particular engine will run. You can drive it through some normal paces and it will auto populate where it needs to not have a fail safe and where it needs to let you know that you're in trouble. The second screen, what it's going to display in the center, inches PSI, bar, lambda or AFR, and what outer face plate you have on it, whether or not you have inches vacuum, lambda or AFR, whether or not you want to auto dim whenever you turn your headlights on, you'll hook up additional wire at night to make the gauge not so intense, fast or slow on the flash fleet during the alarm, and then how you want to configure the outer LEDs, um, how much green, how much red, how much orange. Uh, the software is super simple. I can't say I looked at the directions, I just opened it up. It makes sense, very, very easy to use. It auto connects when you plug into the USB. I've got the gauge powered here on the bench so we can take a look at it. Um, the display is really nice, it's bright. Uh, when you hit the alarm test, you can go ahead and see that it does flash red, which will kind of grab your eye if you're watching it. And again, you can hook up your output to um, a few different things that we'll go over later in the video. Uh, the different face plates if you want to have PSI, but if, let's say you wanted to display PSI in the center, just go ahead and click it and it will display, um, goes, goes right to a boost gauge, which is pretty cool. And again, it gives you some versatility all in one unit. So real quick, we're going to run through a, a pass on the dyno, and it's going to show you where the engine runs naturally. It's going to kind of populate a series of yellow blocks and kind of put a trace on where the engine runs when it's uh, in, a, in a good state of tune.
auto-populated the fuel curve of the engine. Um, the engine's in a good state of tune, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the red dots and drag them down above our set curve. On this car, it'll be about 12-0 air-fuel ratio. So you'll just kind of set the dots above that. And anything, anytime the AFR goes above your uh, red line, it's going to trigger the fail-safe. So just as an illustration of the gauge in action, we're going to go ahead and move, um, move the dots up a little bit to basically create a situation where the, the gauge takes action in the event of a lean condition. So I'm going to kind of false move these lines down to say 11-0, and what that will do is uh, trigger the failsafe. So we'll do that and we'll run it again. line shut the engine off um, I have a pretty long time on the alarm reset so you can make it shorter if you just want it to blip um, but it, again this is kind of a it's a fail-safe condition the driver now knows it's time to check out what's wrong with this car before continuing with any wide open throttle stuff so again I've already wired this thing in to kill power to the ECU when it's triggered but they have an alarm test so we can have the engine running It'll shut the car off to let you know that the circuit that you've created as your failsafe functions properly without having to test it on the road or whatever. So we've got some experience with the product. It's a stocking item here at Real Street, and if you have any questions, please message us.